Well, you are watching From Depth and we're back with a Draconia battle. So, Setup has submitted a steampunk turtle, you know, the, created, the creator of the turtle lord. Now, we accidentally skipped one seconds too far in this little battle, so this will be highly interesting to see. Kind of interesting, it kind of shoots in a box pattern, isn't it? No, it's because it's two of them, never mind. In any case. So, let's take a little look at this beautiful thing. Uh, so, Setup made a super cool turtle lord, which is a huge turtle craft build. And this is the steampunk turtle, which is currently covered in smoke. Kinda smart to have some uh, propellers in here. Hmm. But it's floaty too, that's weird. Why? Anyways, all right, so we got some propellers. You can see it's once again a super cool build. I don't think it has serious interiors, but oh, it does actually have de decorations and interiors here. That's pretty cool. We got some cogs as decorations. We also have loads of detections we have some ooh, we have some cool that is my laser that's zapping it doesn't have laser um we have some tubes there connecting it up and oh wow these turrets <laughs> all right they're looking pretty cool so we have some um, steam turrets basically and these things they're actually they're actually rotating around with the guns on top there so lots of moving parts um, and now we are into this mood so it's not easy to check the uh, uh, interiors in a good way. <clears throat> so sorry if we missed that but uh, we have a beautiful little turtle with a top hat of course smoking a pipe <laughs> to make it extra stream punky. Uh, let's get on with the with the battle here. I believe it fires some. I don't know if it's like diff. If it uses diff guns or it, if it uses other APS, but you can see like everything is rotating around. Everything is on cogs, and it's really animated like that. It's pretty cool. And darn, it has not taken much damage. It, I don't see much damage being, being done to this thing. It's so massive too. Oh, you can see the cogs on the arms here. The anti-torpedoes are popping in there. Now it's going backwards. We totally miss what's happening with the Draconia. But that's just because we want to take a look at this super cool build. And wow, like these cogs here, they're pretty cool. So, uh, Setup has done an extremely good aesthetical job on this uh, steampunk turtle. It's one of few good all metal steampunk designs. We mostly use a lot of wood when making steampunk, but this time uh, we did not. So let's check on the Draconia a little bit. It seems that the laser... Is not firing which is very concerning for sure oh no it's it's up and running again nothing has taken serious damage here I do not know oh yeah we have some deep penetrations here but it's mostly auxiliary systems gotten gotten some beatings here the main APS and the laser is up and running it seems that all the systems are online. I was suspecting this to be a very like decise decided battle that I would lose uh, because of the extreme strength um, of the Rhino. So Setup already submitted the ship actually. He submitted the Rhino, uh, which was a <clears throat> kind of Rhino inspired battleship and that was very strong, very good. And it absolutely took out the Draconia every time reliably. So this may be a little bit more of an aesthetical build. Because it seems that... Ooh, did we EMP that thing? 
these turret ain't EMP protected, it seems. No, it seems that this time the Draconia is faring much better. We'll see, its lasers are still online. These are some dangerous things. So I think this is only APS design, while we utilize lots of, like, all systems. And we are, of course, already in the degraded mood. Here is my large... Ooh, it's going pretty fast. It seems it just won't... Wow, it's not moving quick enough to... I didn't know my torpedoes were that slow, though. And we can see we've been dealing some damage on the steam turtle's belly. This is also a nerfed design. I don't know... I don't remember exactly what it was, but it was something... Probably that, we, that it was too expensive or like excessive use of... Uh, like several hundreds of anti-torpedo torpedoes. I don't know. Ooh, there's a third popping up. Because of course we can have lots of missiles. Um, if someone adds like 200 small anti-missile missiles, um, I won't be able to run. Like I can't, I can't record that. <laughs> Not with this computer, anyways. Oh, we have a thick slab of ERA metal checkerboard inside of here. And some heavy armor front. Yeah. Setup is very good at making these front-facing armors. But I guess it's... I don't know how expensive or how the unnerved version would uh, would have been, but it is clear that it does not seem to have enough firepower to take out the Draconia. Uh, someone who has the computability, uh, computability to do that would of course be interesting to see how it runs against the original uh, unnerved turtle. And there, we came down with some uh, mortars. We are in degraded mode now, so it's hard to spot all of the... Uh, it's hard to spot all of the, like, projectiles now. We can only easily see lasers and missiles. The shells just zap back and forth. And uh, barely have trails, especially not crams. All right. Well, we can definitely say that the steam, steampunk's, uh, the, the setup steampunk turtle is indeed the better looking thing, but uh, it's slowly turning into Swiss cheese, so that might change, because we are indeed mostly measuring combat performance. That's a lot of front armor, wow. Hmm, big guns. And this is... Look, why? Uh, that's a generator turbine, of course. Guess it has rail capabilities then, too. We're popping in with loads of... The laser is still online and it's dealing good damage. And the missiles have a constant attack stream there. The Draconia is tilting a little bit, don't you think so? I think it's a little bit, a little bit tilted. Oh, we just has to, no. I wanted to follow that missile, that missile, because it's, uh, it's fun. 
well not not, not for setup but it's it's fun for uh, us I guess this is a huge missile if you were wondering <laughs> so it's pretty big and poof there it hit it deals heavy EMP and explosive damage and of course this is all metal um, so it didn't do too much of an effect but well setup steampunk turtle is down to 76% and the draconia is brought down to 92 percentages it's starting to go pretty low in the water here so it seems that setup has opted for some really deeply penetrating shells here oh yeah while well, most of the crams are online fail safe problems this cannon is it no that's actually a disabled one yeah that's actually a pretty sad turret i believe no it's not let's just pause a little bit quickly and just check in here Ah, it's only shipped here on the side, but it's not disabled, so it has a little bit lower fire rate than it should have. Huge missile launcher is left. How's it going with the main gun? Ooh. It's alright. Well... We'll see how it goes the second battle, but it really seems that the Draconia is going to win this first bout indeed. In the meantime, I would just like to uh, send a huge thanks to our commissioned officers in the Army of Jimadism, which is Stellar Admiral LCG Canyon, Captain Scooby Rocks, Commander Ejin, Lieutenant Asteria, and Cadet Shark93 and Martin McBacon. And if your name is not in the list here, um, it's because I recorded this before you became a uh, patron. Yes. There is also um, there is also yeah. So uh, <laughs> in the future, where we get lots of patrons, will uh, hopefully that would be pretty cool because then we could make like more regular content. In any case, there are some cool perks for uh, the nice commissioned officers who are indeed uh, supporting us. So if you are interested in seeing what those benefits are, um, then you can go to the Patreon page link in the description and, uh, well, see what it offers. And don't be like this missile, just hanging around under here and not doing it's up to no good, but it's it's not reaching its goal. Yeah. Now it disappeared. I don't know what that uh, comparison was about, but whatever. <laughs> I'm I guess I'm a little bit extra weird today or something. Well, steampunk's steampunk turtle or turtle. Yes. Um, it's down to sixty-eight percentages, so I think it will start to sink. Yeah, here we have some of those railgun parts, yeah. I get it. That's why we had all the energy generation. You saw how little that uh, mortar dealt damage. It dealt so little damage. And against popular belief, my mortars are weak. They're like weak AF, if you didn't know. They're just hard to zap with your lambs. They kind of are pretty resilient against lambing. And many of them doesn't even carry any payload. Well, well, this this battle is really moving in slow motion. Like, oh my god, 65 percentages. Um, it does still shoot back. We have some vertical launching remote controlled missiles here. We can follow them and see what they do and see if our defenses will be able to take them out or not. 
Uh huh. Anti missile missiles. Whoops. No. They took him out. Well, that was that. The laser is still alive and kicking, and that's a huge advantage for the Draconia. If, it, if that's true, it's usually uh, performing decently well. The laser would be, in terms of damage per second, probably be the main gun, just because it's, it's so hard to defend against. And I'm kind of surprised the turtle ain't sinking yet. Yes, yes, yes. And this is a really heavy metal slab. 62% just... You know, I don't think that the turtle will... Like... It's just slowly losing... You know, its missile doesn't reach either. That was a nice hit with my big missile though, wasn't it? So honestly, I think it's time to move to uh, the next battle. So, we're gonna restart the battle and see if we get some other results. Because as we clearly can see, uh, it just doesn't deal damage in a way that would be able to damage the Draconia in any meaningful way. Yeah. So we are spawning again. And let's take a quick little overview. Just before the battle starts, so it's not covered in smoke. So it has of course some interior decorating, cogs moving around the center column, all sorts of cool little details here. Reminds me a lot of the... Uh, what was it called now? Uh, the, the Turtle Lord. Which is, of course... Uh, <laughs> it feels to be a quite big, a bit larger. But in any case... Uh, yes, so, uh, since we checked that out, you can see it's looking pretty cool. Uh, it's looking very nice. <laughs> I think that uh, we should start this little battle here and this time I want to hang around with the Draconia a little bit because I want to see what types of damage it uh, receives. Oh, did I EMP my own cannon? With what? With one of the sh- <laughs> Anyways. And the shells that are coming in... Yeah, they seem to be like kinetic penetrators, yeah? See, pyom pyom. They try... Ah! They try to snipe the bottom of the... Alright, so our roll... Column is basically gone. The shield flickered there for some reason. Okay, so it's probably set up to aim against targets underwater, so I suppose it's kinetic super caps we're getting shot with. We also seem to have some EMP load in them. So I guess it tries to EMP us very much. Well, will we see another barge of shots coming in though? Yeah, that's some deep stripes. <laughs> really hurts our um, floating capability for sure. It hasn't fired in a while, have it? Not now it fires, okay. I don't know if they are diff guns. Um, I suppose not, since we uh, the big main gun is of course not the gun, but the auxiliary may be, because I know that... Uh, I think an earlier design of this at least had a lot of diffs. 
Spion. We are in the degraded mood. And the laser really zaps away stuff here. Poor mechanical turtle. Um, yeah, so it looks like this battle <clears throat> is going in the same direction as the previous one, perhaps. We'll see. It's best of three, so if Draconia loses this one, we will have another battle. Um, and the stats are pretty even though, like 94 versus 91. Uh, so setup has successfully dealt more damage, I think, <clears throat> than last time. Um, or at least like quick enough. Another turret goes. I guess a lucky shot against the laser would probably be very useful. Um, to take out the laser it should probably, however, uh, pro target <laughs> target stuff at uh, above water and not below water. And my current theory is that it aims for stuff below water. Alright. I got some real holes, got some nasty holes there. Yes, indeed. EMP and explosive damage. Now I see here. Ooh! A swarm of shells were incoming. It's kind of hard to spot them <clears throat> when we're in degraded mood. Steampunk. Turtle is down to 87 percentages. Oh no, we have the stuttering. God damn it, it's, it's really moving away. Like It's like, really wants some range between us. It's probably smart because then some of the missiles might even not reach him. Not sure. Far we are, but anyways. You can see that uh, this time our torpedoes have basically not been able to get there very well. Um, big, 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 big bad missile. Ooh, it's raining crams. Now it seems that this time I don't know if the torpedoes just don't uh, just lack the range or if the anti-missile missiles have been doing a good job. Slowly backing away, but I feel it's not dealing too much damage. I wonder if the main gun, no, the main gun is up and running for sure. Dracona is down to 90% and the setup steampunk turtle is at 85. So there is only a 5% difference. It's not a big difference, I will tell you. It's not a big difference. It is possible that uh, steampunk will uh, the, the steampunk turtle will win against the draconia. It seems though that the Draconia, she's dealing more damage per second against this um, turtle here. And I really wonder, like we have some lost potential firepower with the turret in the back here. I would almost feel like it would have been a better idea to set the back turrets up as some kind of uh, mortars or something. I think these rotating towers are pretty funny. You can see they kind of have a... Uh, they're just aiming there and I suppose they should... Fire? I don't know. I guess that should be diff guns, right? Yeah, these are diff guns. <laughs> Pretty funny. Ooh. The weak mortars are coming in here. 
And this is a little missile tower thing, yeah? Right. Draconia down to 90. The turtle is at 79. So it really looks like Draconia is in the lead still. The laser is also still online. The main APS is online. Auxiliary crams, they're starting to look a little bit sad. Most of them are indeed missing by now. Oh, even the... No, it's it's damaged. I thought that well, that was too unlikely that the pack was still alive because that's like semi-disposable. Mm -hmm. A huge missile is in there too. We have some deep holes there, but it's like holes in the wrong places. It doesn't hurt us too much. Right, very interesting. When entering this battle, I must confess that I kind of thought that uh, I would absolutely, I would like, when entering this battle, I absolutely thought that the Draconia would lose. So I'm quite happy that she seems to not lose. Won the first battle, uh, seems to be winning this one, and that's, well, that's, that's it of best of three. So that is quite interesting. Where we lost the big turret too. Really starting to sink there. No, because I know that setup is a, uh, or E-Lord, as it's also called on, on Steam. He is a very, 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 very skilled builder. He's really good. And the Rhino, as uh, I mentioned, did, did win very hard against the Draconia. So it's quite interesting indeed. Um... And that's, I guess, with all builders. Some sometime I can make something that's pretty, uh, pretty good. I just get the right balance, and sometimes I just won't make something that's very efficient. It's a, it's a little bit about luck too, but uh, mostly, but mostly it's uh, it's the it's the design. Sometimes you just want to kind of test something and see if it works well. And uh, it might be so that the, that the steampunk turtle is kind of um, just a test for an APS only uh, kinetic steampunk design thing. I don't think it's only kinetic, but uh, we can de we can see it deal some heavy kinetic damage for sure. And that's kind of like when I made a broadsword. I wanted to make a really, really, really big. Uh, broadside ship which was like very 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 tall and that's what it was and it was kind of strong for what it did because it was mostly a concept but even though um, it was able to win a couple of times just because of the sheer broadside uh, firepower I just love it when this missile goes in here it really kind of holds stuff out here Okay, here we have some Tetris going on. Yeah. Big APS Tetris. Draconia is still at 89%. So this time, uh, the Steampunk Turtle did more damage in, in the earlier stages than before. But unfortunately for setup, uh, the laser is still intact. Oh, that's some EMP though. Ooh. Nothing died much. It has some uh, it has some surge protectors and stuff in there for sure. We can see that the laser has actually taken a couple of hits because the laser beam is now it's now in here. It's not one of the outer blocks, yeah. <laughs> it's pretty funny. It's actually set up to not care about itself in terms of like failsafe, so... 
it may actually uh, shed off a, a couple of the frontmost pieces. Yeah. It's still just fire there. My lamb system is still broken too, which is pretty funny. Yeah, main gun too. The Draconia is in is in good shape. It's in good shape. Let's follow my big or large uh, vertical missile here. And the turtle is down to 65. So it's probably pretty safe to say who's, who's going to win this thing. And again, I wonder, I don't remember now, <laughs> what's the what's the not nerfed turtle, if I even knew that. I, I don't know if I got that information. But, um, yeah, very cool, interesting design. I think that the steampunk turtle looks absolutely super cool. It does, however, seem to not be strong enough to win against the Draconia. But again, uh, setup has already won against the Draconia using his Rhine O. So, uh, with that said, I would just want to thank our commissioned officers very much for supporting the channel. Um, it really helps that our officers are um, making sure we get some stable income uh, to the channel, which uh, makes me. Uh, dare to spend more time making videos uh, which i hope you do enjoy and that's of course stellar admiral stellar admiral stellar because it's a youtube stellar youtube uh, member too very very generous um so stellar admiral admiral lcg canyon stellar admiral lcg canyon try to side say that a couple of times fast <laughs> Captain Scoob Rocks, one, two, three, four, five. Commander Ejin, Lieutenant Asteria, and our cadets, Shark93 and Marty McBacon. Seems that the turtle has started to sink a little bit and collected a couple of penalty points. Um, it's also losing, it's also below the, oh yeah. It's it's very sad. It's very sad. Oh yes, it is. Mm. It has officially been zapped out of existence. But well, well, looked very cool. And thanks for submitting this beautiful shit. Ship, <laughs> God, sorry. I don't know what it's up with me today. I think I'm a little bit extra weird, and I obviously can't talk. I don't know why. But thank you very much, set up for submitting this awesome ship. Steampunk turtle ship. Very cool indeed. Um, excuse me for bastardizing any words, messing up any sentences, and in general, um, not doing a good job with my English today. But in any case, thanks a lot for watching. Um, I hope you enjoyed it and if you did please leave a like and if you haven't subscribed already please subscribe and I'll see you again next time. This is your host Gmodism and we are signing out. Draconia AOG Invictus